Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am making this beautiful abstract flower painting with alcohol ink and also some gold leaf. So I am making this on a glossy photo paper that I got from stationery store. And some glossy paper have the watermark in it on the non-glossy side. See for instance the company name is showing up in the paper. But I think that is okay because I am just practicing. And I usually use the non-glossy side of the paper. And I am using inks, uh, glacier, teal and blue violet. Teal and blue violet. Normally once I practice then I make this painting in a paper like Nara or something. Uh, so this is just for my practice and I use the non-glossy side. So and just FYI uh, some papers don't have the watermark so you just have to look for it. If there is no watermark then you can uh, use it uh, without any worry. So first I am adding the glacier ink. And then I normally let it dry using this small blower I got from Amazon. So the first step is to let the ink dry because we don't want to blow away the whole thing. And now let's add a teal. And that also again I let it dry. the blue violet and just for a safety tip when you make alcohol ink paintings make it out outdoor because uh, the uh, smell of the alcohol ink is not good for lungs so I usually make it outside so that uh, I don't have to inhale the uh, smell so that's very important safety tip uh, which I always say in every video and I don't use any fancy equipments like airbrush or anything expensive. So all I have is just a small blower which is very uh, cheap and I got from Amazon. And with this uh, small equipments you can make the painting anywhere outside like in a park or in your balcony or patio. You don't need uh, so many items to make this simple painting. So once all these colors are dry, then I will add the isopropyl alcohol. I use 91% but you can also use higher percentage. So you add the isopropyl alcohol and just blow it with the blower. Since this is just an abstract painting, you can blow in whatever direction you want. It just depends on uh, the shape that you like the flower to be. So. I am
using black acrylic ink that I got from art store. This is the black acrylic ink. So I use this for the base of the flower. Once the black ink is dry, then I add little glue and we are going to add some gold leaf. I got mixed colors of gold leaf from the art store. I just uh, apply the glue with the back of the brush so because I don't want to spoil the bristles. And then once I apply glue, I just apply the uh, gold leaf. And make sure once this painting is dry and the gold leaf, everything is dry, you may have to seal the gold leaf or varnish it, otherwise the shine will go away. So sealing is very important. There is um, something available called gold leaf sealer in the market. You can just apply that and let it dry and then it will dry. using the fine tech watercolor paint it's called f i n e t e c fine tech metallic gold watercolor that i usually add in every flower because that gives a beautiful effect to the painting so just use a thin brush and mix the paint with little water and then i'm adding the highlights <laughs>
here I am using a pearl acrylic ink not alcohol ink acrylic ink pearl so that uh, with that I am adding some designs in the center of the flower and once again I uh, just wanted to remind you once this painting is dry you have to seal the gold leaf with gold leaf sealer which is available it's just like varnish you apply it and let it dry and then the shine will be retained permanently